Good morning. This is Wesley Lane, a teacher of the Prairie Center Church of God of Prophecy Adult Sunday School class. We welcome you to this uh, remote lesson number two. We are studying Daniel chapter eight. We are not going to spend a lot of time on this subject today. Uh, this is uh, something that could be a, a series-long lesson of itself. And so we want to just uh, touch on some high points and leave you with a word of encouragement today. Uh, start with a prayer that, uh, God, we thank you for this time. Uh, I pray that uh, uh, very soon we'll be able to meet together again, Lord, uh, in our class and, and enjoy the fellowship that we are missing today, oh God. Uh, we trust that you are uh, caring for your children right now, God, in, the, in their homes and that you're keeping them safe. God, we pray these things in your name. Amen. Uh, Daniel chapter 8, again, is what we're studying, the vision of the ram and the goat. Uh, remember, Daniel uh, is set in a time about uh, 500 plus years before uh, Christ. And uh, the Israelites, uh, the, the nation of Judah, had been uh, taken into captivity by the Babylonians. And Daniel was carried off to Babylon to serve uh, the king. And uh, he's had a series of dreams over the years and uh, often was very troubled by them. And, and uh, But it also allowed him to know what was happening and help us know what was happening. The most important thing from this lesson is that God was able to accurately prophesy through Daniel uh, what was going to happen. That helps us understand God is all-knowing, uh, all things in the past and in the future, and that uh, he will... Uh, use all of those things that, that even appear to be terrible at the time to help uh, his uh, kingdom and help advance his kingdom. And we see that uh, uh, in this uh, lesson of the ram and the goat, Daniel sees this uh, uh, series of visions and he sees this ram that has two horns and uh, this represents the, the Medo-Persian empire that's going to conquer the Babylonians and then he sees a, a goat come and destroy that ram and that uh, goat is going to represent uh, the Greeks with Alexander the Great and again these are huge historical characters that uh, we could spend lots of time talking about times and dates and uh, things like that but eventually Alexander the Great uh, dies of a sickness and his four generals uh, take up which represent the four uh, horns that we see uh, coming out uh, later. And then the, the, the smaller or uh, little horn that comes up in, in the, the description is uh, Ant Ant Antiochus uh, the fourth Epiphanes. And he was uh, going to be a terrible uh, man, a wicked man, and does many terrible things to the Jewish nation. And it seems like uh, just uh, the absolute end of Judaism. You know, he uh, pro prohibits any sacrifices in the temple. He goes as far as sacrificing a pig on the altar to Zeus in the temple and just terrible blasphemy. And um, But in that process, he also t uh, requires that everyone throughout the known world learns Greek. And we know uh, uh, several, a uh, couple hundred years after that, when, when uh, the gospel message and Jesus uh, comes to earth and dies for our sins, that uh, the fact that everybody knows Greek uh, is able to spread the gospel more freely. And so uh, we want to use that as a sense of hope today, uh, knowing that uh, any time, even in today's uh, uh, world, that we see uh, terrible things uh, coming to God's people, we're saddened by that. Even the, the, the uh, coronavirus and other things that are causing disruption in our daily lives, those are terrible and, and uh, frustrating, but we trust in God that God was not surprised by this. There is an enemy that's out there trying to attack God's people and that that enemy is going to be overcome by God in the end and that whatever is meant for evil towards us, God will turn and use for his good and we trust in that uh, with him today. Our golden text uh, jumps to Revelation uh, chapter 17 verse 14. It says, these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for He is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And we trust uh, in that today. We leave you with a blessing that God be with you. God give you a, a, a sense of peace and uh, to remove all fear from your life today. And uh, we, we pray that we will be together soon and be able to enjoy our fellowship uh, with each other uh, in our local congregations. And so... Good day, and uh, God be with you.